I'm Stuart Brunt and today I'm going to talk about how to test the temperature transmitter and temperature indicating controller um, and I'm going to briefly explain the process and what's going on okay so temperature transmitter um, let's say we want to test it now temperature transmitters need two things they need a temperature value and they need a lower range value and upper range value so inside of this temperature transmitter it resides a lower range value and an upper range value that have been set. They were established into this transmitter through the heart device. We have programmed them. So it has that. Now it needs a temperature value. And the way it acquires the temperature value um, is through, in this case, uh, the use of a thermocouple. And that's what this, this wire here is. And in this instance, we're using a two-wire thermocouple. Now, this thermocouple is plugged into the fluke. And it's important to understand that in the process, the thermocouple would not have a plug. Okay, we're using a plug because that plug is representing a probe. In the process, a probe is going to use something called the thermoelectric effect to produce a millivolt signal that would represent a temperature. So if this was 72 degrees, then this probe would produce a millivolt signal that represented 72 degrees. So in, in our testing of this transmitter, we're using a plug that the Fluke 725 digital multimeter is going to provide a millivolt signal to that plug that it will send to the transmitter. So we can basically say, okay, send 72 degrees Fahrenheit worth of millivolts to the transmitter, and it will do that. And it's important to know that that's what's going on so that we can test this correctly. So now we have the temperature values and the lower range value and upper range value. So let's go to our little chart here. The lower range value, in this case, we have established as 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's inside the, the transmitter now. At the upper range value, is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So, let's say we told we're testing our, um, we're testing our temperature transmitter, and we say, okay, let's test to make sure that at 0%, at our lower range value that we're getting the desired amount of signal which should be 4 milliamps let's test that so what we do is we send that milliamp signal we send that um, millivolt signal that represents uh, 25 degrees Fahrenheit and it goes to the transmitter but we're also connected to the transmitter through some other leads and we can dis and we can see if the transmitter is producing the signal, the desired signal, the actual signal that we want. And in this case, when we tested it, it was. So there was no error. So let's say we were testing it at 75% of our signal, which would be 62.5 degrees Fahrenheit. We would send a millivolt signal that represents 62.5 degrees Fahrenheit and it would go to the pressure transmitter and we would say okay well 75 percent we're hoping that we get 16 milliamps and whenever we check our fluke we're going to go oh it is 16 milliamps because the fluke's going to tell us and because there's no difference then it's working perfectly and there's no error. So that's basically how you would test for the <clears throat> thermocouple. And, you know, the, the temperature indicating controller works the same exact way. It works the same exact way. Except for you're not using a, a uh, thermocouple. You're just looking at the values on the screen and making sure that they're what they should be. You're going to look at values on this screen and this screen. And everything should work out perfectly, otherwise you have an error. And you'll be able to calculate that error. Alright, that's all I got. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them 
or comments, please leave them in the spaces below, and uh, catch you next time.